Hi, my name is Akshay Garpure and I'm a PhD student in the Department of Energy and Mineral Engineering working with Dr. Vanderborn. The topic of my presentation is upcycling plastic waste into graphitic carbons. At present in the United States alone, approximately 37 million tons of plastic are used every year. Polyethylene and polypropylene are amongst the most common resins found in the plastic bags, milk containers, uh, films, bottle caps, etc. The majority, more than 70% of the plastic waste is sent to landfills. Uh, the future of renewable energy hinges on the large-scale effective energy storage and graphitic carbons are integral to the lithium-ion batteries for electrical vehicles and related grid applications. With the decline in the supply of traditional precursors such as coal tar, obtaining carbons from plastic waste can provide an environmentally friendly approach to support renewable energy storage. But barriers, barriers to up upcycling waste plastic include uh, low yield and non-graphitizable nanostructure of carbons derived from the plastic. Therefore, here we demonstrate a novel solution of using graphene oxide as a templating agent to increase yield of, of, of and obtain the graphitic carbons from uh, plastic waste. The oxygen provided by graphene oxide stabilizes the polymer while the sp2 framework of the graphene oxide serves as a template guiding the reconstruction of polymer chains into a graphitic ordered material another advantage of this process is that compared to traditional catalysts such as transition metals or clays no purification or catalyst removal is required as shown in the figure five plastics were used in the study shredded pe films poly propylene pellets, high-density polyethylene flakes, post-consumer recycled PE film pellets, and polystyrene. Plastics were dry mixed with 2.5 weight percent of graphene oxide and loaded in a tubing bomb reactor. Then they were carbonized at 600 degrees Celsius for three hours and obtained coke was graphitized at 2500 degrees Celsius for one hour. Our results showed that addition of graphene oxide and the resultant stabilization Provide, provides and promotes a large increase in the carbon yield up to 230%. Composites with different grades of graphene oxide uh, with varying oxygen content, lateral size and stacking height were prepared to determine the mechanism of yield increase. The oxygen content and the lateral size were the dominant parameters affecting the yield increase. Therefore, cross-linking via radicals generated by leaving oxygen groups and diffusional confinement of uh, polymer radicals by large graphene oxide sheets are the dominant mechanisms in the graphene oxide plastic composites. X-ray diffraction, Raman spectroscopy, and transmission electron uh, spectroscopy were used to assess the graphitic quality of the carbons. After addition of graphene oxide, the graphitic quality as gauged by crystallite parameters L sub A and L sub C increased for the high density polyethylene, but decreased slightly for the rest of the plastic. A trade off was observed between the carbon yield and the graphitic quality for them, as cross linking stabilization provided by the graphene oxide may have restricted the growth of the crystallites. Uh, the obtained carbons were highly graphitic, as the crystallites were comparable in size to those in the model gra uh, graphitizing material anthracene coke. Also, XRD is not the full story. Graphene oxide completely changed the morphology of the composites from shells and ribbons to large flakes. The high resolution transmission electron microscopy of pure high density polyethylene uh, showed interlocking of crystallite lamella with a lot of curvature. On the other hand, addition of graphene oxide produced long continuous lamella with nicely stacked graphene layers. This improvement in the graphitic quality was confirmed by a sharper spotty diffraction pattern in the graphene oxide composites compared to a diffuse ring pattern in the uh, pure plastics. Such highly graphitic materials produced from plastic waste have tremendous value in energy storage applications. The future work of this uh, will focus on investigating changes in the carbonization reactions using thermogravimetric analysis, differential scanning, calorimetry, and Fourier transfer uh, infrared spectroscopy. The carbons derived from pure plastics uh, versus their graphene oxide composites 
will be used for electrochemical testing in the lithium ion batteries and the molecular dynamic simulations will reveal the chemistry of graphene oxide plastic reactions. This work will create a new path for graphite manufacture, netting energy savings by lower process temperature and in environmental benefits by reduced process CO2 emissions. It will boost recycling and enable other related uses for carbon materials with uh, plastic waste derived from plastic. This work was sponsored by an MRI seed grant in partnership with the Pennsylvania Recycling Markets Center for Disruptive Concepts in Materials Recycling and Circular Economy. Thank you.